Hi, I hope everyone's well. I, we got four cards for today. Um, the opening card is kind of intense, so I'm going to walk through these briefly, and then um, as I was m sitting with these cards this morning, I got this ping of a situation that I went through and kind of transformed myself, and so I just want to talk about that as an example to um, lend context to like how these cards can be trying to help us work through some stuff today. So the opening card that we have for today is the Ten of Swords. The challenge that we have is the Three of Pentacles. And the way we're going to get through the challenge is the Five of Wands. And then the overall outcome is the Page of Cups. So this spread reminds me of a really intense situation that I went through. And ironically, it happened 12 years ago. Um, and so I just wanted to talk about that briefly as an example of how we can be working through the way that we visually and mentally see a situation and how that can be really limiting us from moving forward and progressing in our lives. So as an example, um, some of you guys might know that my mom passed away uh, 13 years ago. And I'm going to go ahead and say that this is like my third clip of this video because I've teared up a lot and whew, I'm going to try to dial them back. But I'm a mammal. I'm emotional. You guys all know that. So hopefully you accept it about me and don't judge me for it. And if you do, psh, that's on you, man. <laughs> So, you know, I lost my mom 13 years ago and I was 30 years old and there weren't very many people in my immediate life that had gone through a loss like that. And so I started isolating myself because in the community that I was part of, people just, you know, had this way of like, wanting to like make the positive out of everything and you know sometimes that's just unrealistic and you know they tell me to cheer up and all the things but they all had their parents so it was a really isolating time for me and I started to resent people right I was in this space where not only was I like isolating myself from the world but I also was not taking care of myself because I was depressed. So my daily habit was to, you know, get up and have a brevet latte, which is a half and half latte with honey. That's how I liked it. And, uh, you know, smoke a lot of pot and drink, right? And isolate myself. And so I wasn't eating very much. And I have a whole story about this on my YouTube channel around how this experience in my life inspired me to become a nutritionist because I saw how much lack of nutrition affected my mental realm in life and how well I, I like was emotionally as well. But that that's another video. So you're welcome to go watch that. And my whole point is that I, the way that I was seeing things is that no one could be of support to me because no one had been through what I had been through. And it isolated me a lot and it really stole my energy and my ability to uh, go out and be in the world, right? Which was my challenge. Like I had a bigger thing that I needed to share with the world, but I couldn't actually go out and apply myself to do it because I basically like tied myself down with my mind and I went through this experience where um I had this epiphany one day that everything that I was doing for myself was a depressant on top of mourning my mom and I you know observed obviously that I had had these habits and these daily routines that weren't helping me very much and so you know, the way I got through it was kind of like this five of wands. So the five of wands is when it's upright, it has this energy of these people who are 
in this dance of sorts and they can be seen as like engaging a sense of like combativeness with their will because there's five wands or like the engaging in this sense of like exper experimentation and like practice right it's kind of like training in martial arts versus um actually being in a fight right like these two energies of like how do we want to work with this energy and in capoeira it could be the comparison of the angola style and the and the hegenau style right um because one is like more playful and like almost practicing like a dance and then the other is like i'm actually trying to break your nose so you better defend yourself and so there's that energy with this card but if anyone's tried to work with a habit that you don't necessarily like about yourself you can realize that like when you engage this you're just like always engaging this and it can it can also feel very imprisoning because you feel like you're always engaging with one side or the other and so what does it mean if it's in reverse well so I started to do this thing with myself where um, if I poured myself a glass of wine I would put it on the table and if I went to look at it, I would use it as a trigger for myself to go take care of something or to go do something. And so it was like I was using this thing that I typically went to out of like uh, emotional, in an emotional space and instead of like following through with that, I would put my attention on something else. So I basically retrained my behavior and I started observing in the morning, I would wake up and there would be like a half a cup or half a glass of wine there sitting on my table that I never touched because I used it as a way to like trigger me to change my behavior. Um, and so it's like reflecting on what we can see in ourselves and what we need to let go of so that we can actually put our energy and our effort towards this dream and this reality that we want to build towards. And so I bring this up more as like a deep share of myself of things that I've worked through in witnessing things in myself that rather than like, you know, shake my fist at myself or beat myself up over it, I just acknowledged why I was doing it and then nurtured myself by starting to feed myself and going outside and and the biggest thing that was interesting for me in that experience um which i think turned everything over was like this card is big for me because i had this realization that yeah none of the people in my immediate surroundings had gone through anything like what i had been through so it was pretty silly for me to expect them to know how to show up. And that brought me, a, it like spun it around, you know, it was like, I found compassion for them because I knew that one day they would have a great loss too. And I would never want them to imagine that before that time comes. So I don't want people to feel my pain, right? Like, that was a big aha moment. <laughs> that moment right there. You know, looking into the depths of our own emotional experience and witnessing where other people are at too. And not letting that build up this idea that people aren't showing up because they just don't want to. It's because they don't know how to. And, you know, it's really shifted things in my life that instead of like, you know, if I feel like I'm in this isolated place, rather than, you know, turn my back to the world and my head down, I pick up my phone and reach out to people because 
I can see that other people are going through things too. And it doesn't help anyone when we're like this, right? So we're going through this experience today that, you know, interestingly enough is, uh, the last day of Pisces, which this card represents. So what are we kind of reflecting on and what are we acknowledging in the depths of our own being and what are we letting go of? Because we just went through this full moon and the full moon now is waning, right? The light of the moon is starting to get less and less. And so we can be in alignment with these energies and also let go of things in ourselves and behaviors and, you know, this, this space of like mental isolation so that we can actually have open hands to apply to that, that dream and that thing that we are feeling so called to put our energy toward. So it's interesting, right? It's like, if we look at how crystals are made, they're made under pressure. And it's through that pressure that something gets crystallized into form. And if you look at that crystal, right? If you look at any crystal, you can look into it in any of its facets. And some parts of it are clear. And some parts of it are foggy and cloudy. And some parts of it have rainbows. And I think that's kind of the time that we're all in right now is finding some new perspective in this experience and what we're all working with and also realizing that showing up is more important than our mind would like to have us believe. Um, interesting stuff. I send you guys all a lot of love, and I wish you well, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.